स्टूडेंट्स आई एम रमन गुप्ता बैक हेयर टू टीच यू इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू द पोएम क्रिस्टेबल अ फेमस पोएम रिटन बाय एस टी कॉलरिज सैमुअल टेलर कॉलरिज हु बिलोंग्स टू द romantic period of english literature he is a romantic poet the poem <coughs> as you all know in the last video uh, in which i told you told you about the general facts about uh, uh, coleridge and william wordsworth they in a joint effort in a collaboration started a new era in literature which is called romanticism and it was all with the with their joint work lyrical ballads published in 1798 and by the appearance of this by the emergence of this uh volume the romantic uh, the age of romanticism is considered to be started so let's begin this poem which is also included in that volume lyrical ballads cristobal the poem begins with cristobal going into cristobal is a character there are some names of the characters cristobal sir leoline geraldine these are some characters the poem begins with cristobal going into the woods at night alone she has left the house of her father whose name is sir leoline who is a baron her father is a baron it is a full moon in april the night is of full moon and a chilly night in the month of april there is still chill so we can imagine that it is uh, in europe where most of the time in the year is of cold she has had dreams of the night she is betrothed to marry and is out in the woods to pray for her fiance's well-being as he is far away she had a dream and uh, she afraid of that dream about uh, her fiance and for her fiance's well-being she went to the jungle to pray while kneeling beneath an oak tree she hears a moan a moaning and investigates she sees a lady who appears bright and radiant bright and radiant hair means there is something different it is not common dressed in a white silk robe Cristobal has found a beautiful woman with bare feet bare arms and gems in her hair on the opposite side of the tree first of all one can imagine how a lady in such a uh, wealthy ornaments in a wealthy state can be found in such kind of uh, jungle why she is there the woman explains that her name is geraldine and that she has been kidnapped by five warriors she gives a detailed account of her abduction of being tied on a white horse and riding at a furious pace through the night for she knew not how long the tallest of the five warriors left her beneath the oak tree where cristobal finds her according to geraldine the warriors swore they would return with haste she asked cristobal for help 
शी इज क्रिस्टेबल इज अ वेरी काइंड लेडी क्रिस्टेबल नॉट ओनली ऑफर्स हर हेल्प बट शी ऑल्सो ऑफर्स द हेल्प ऑफ हर फादर सर लियोलाइन हु विल इंश्योर जेरलडाइन सेफ रिटर्न टू हर नोबल फादर्स हॉल she promised her that her father will help her to send her back to his her father's house cristobal then leads geraldine into the castle telling her that the household is asleep and that sir leoline is poor health and may not be awakened so she offers to let geraldine share her bed with her Cristobal and Geraldine cross the moat. Moat. And Cristobal opens a small door. Within the iron gate. At this point, Geraldine sinks down on the ground, as though she is in pain, and Cristobal carries her across the threshold. As soon as she is beyond the threshold Geraldine stands up again as though she as though the pain has passed They walk by an old dog that does not wake but make an angry noise in its sleep She sings This is an indication that she is not uh, a good lady and the goodness once tries to stop her to stop her evil deeds but she again overpowers that goodness and uh, enters the house they pass several torches that are dying until geraldine passes as she passes the torches flare up this was again an indication when she passes the torches flare up that she was something different they quickly and quietly passed the baron's room and reach cristobal's chamber cristobal trimmed the lamp and made it bright at this geraldine crumbles to the floor again this happens so cristobal offers her wine made of wild flowers by cristobal's mother as they speak cristobal reveals that her mother died at the time of her birth however cristobal says that uh, says she has heard from a friar that cristobal's mother on her deathbed promised that she would hear the castle bell strike 12 o'clock on her daughter's wedding day then in a changed voice geraldine declares of wandering mother again an indication these words tell that the spirit the holy spirit of cristobal's mother was wandering over there and geraldine uh, recognized the spirit so as geraldine was uh, an evil spirit so she recognized the holy spirit of cristobal's mother and tried to keep her away from cristobal i have part to bid the flee cristobal wonders at her words she observes her unsettled eye and asks herself if geraldine is able to see spirits of the dead in the next stanza geraldine's words are stronger as she cries of woman of this hour is mine again these words tell that she was an evil spirit and uh, as she had 
taken the hold of that area for that time so she tried to keep the holy spirit of christabel's mother far away from that place that's why she told that this r is mine christabel mistakenly interprets this behavior and these words to be the result of geraldine's supposed kidnapping geraldine stands drinks the wild flower wine and suggests that christabel unrob while she prays christabel obeys geraldine she uh, geraldine ordered christabel to undress herself and uh, as christabel was under the spell of geraldine's magic Geraldine's evil powers. She obeyed her. Christabel obeys Geraldine, undressing and reclining in the bed. She props herself up to look at Geraldine, who disrobing, unbound the cincture from beneath her breast, her silken robe and inner vest, dropped to her feet. a sight to dream of not to tell here the poet has used some words that what was that condition in which christabel was totally under the effect of geraldine's evil intentions she was undressed and was lying in bed but the words are not there to tell that what happened only this can be thought she joins christabel in the bed Geraldine lied along with Christabel in the same bed takes Christabel into her arms she took the Christabel in her arms and casts a spell to control what Christabel can say so what can we conclude by studying this first part of the poem the poem returns to the image of christabel in prayer at the oak tree an an unmanned sorry an unnamed and unspecified first person speaker then describes the way she is sleeping with her eyes open and seems to be dreaming about something frightful the speaker notes that the cause of the bad dreams is the one who is holding christabel in her arms as a mother holds her child christabel pulls herself out of her trance and weeps the speaker wonders what if her guardian spirit is here and what if Chris, christabel knows her mother is nearby the speaker then adds that christabel does know that saints will aid if men will call so the poem has mingling of nature and supernature both it has supernatural element so magical powers evil effects evil spirits all these are available in the poem so in the next video we'll study the second part study it well and if you find any problem i'll explain it to you Thank you and have a nice day.